My name is Eddie White. I am part of the Google Cloud Platform team. I am responsible here for our um, data analytics uh, platform partners, one of whom which is Kubel. And I am very proud and pleased to be presenting here. I would like to say uh, thanks to Utpal and his team for giving us the opportunity to be sponsors here today um, and congratulate them on the amazing content and material uh, that they've put together over the two days of this summit. Uh, I know they've put a lot of hard work into this and I want to say how much we appreciate them and how much I'm looking forward to giving this talk. So here at Google today, one of the things that we see and all of us see in the enterprise is the challenges that uh, the enterprise is facing today with the sheer uh, pace and scale of growth of data um, that they're grappling with. Um, you can see that number there of 175 zettabytes of data by 2025. That is a lot of cat videos. The subtext behind that um, Harvard Business Review, uh, which I actually read as part of the prep for this, is they've said that less than 1% of the uh, unstructured data um, has been used by enterprises today in their day-to-day -day business decision making and less than 50% of the structured data that they have stored they are utilizing in their data analytics environment. So as this uh, amount of data grows, enterprises are going to need a very scalable, very dependable, very reliable platform so they can store, organize and optimize the data that they have so that they can match that with the use cases and business problems they're trying to solve in sort of business real time. One of the unique perspectives that Google brings to uh, data problems, be it data warehousing problems or data analytics problems, data lake challenges, is we are a data company and big data is firmly in our DNA. Google has nine products now that have got over a billion users, which gives us a tremendous amount of data and a tremendous amount of usage on what, com what customers are doing, uh, how they use products, and we have used all that data to enhance our services um, that give our customers better experience on data and analytics. We also have a rich heritage in AI and ML uh, built across uh, the amount of data that we gather and the amount of interaction we have with our customers. And we use all of that to ensure that as the convergence of data lake and data warehouse is happening. And as the cloudscape is changing in data, we are bringing all of that knowledge uh, to bear uh, with our customers. When we see and we talk about convergence, we are helping to drive that convergence to empower business. And there's three um, pillars or themes um, that I'll talk through about how Google Cloud sees this changing cloudscape and the things that we see our customers struggling with and that we're helping them with. One is the emergence, as I mentioned, of data lakes and data warehouses and the horses for courses idea where there are clear use cases for data lakes for large amounts of unstructured data and there's clear use cases for data warehouses where customers require highly performant, almost real-time responses to massive amounts of data for business uses. We have seen a significant spike in the use of streaming data as well as batch processing. And customers want the ability to be able to handle both streaming data and batch data in the same environment on the same platform. And lastly, analytics and the need to enrich those analytics that our customers are doing with more AI and ML capabilities to make their analytics events smarter so that they can drive real-time decision-making um, enhanced by AI and ML down to the business users. So what is our vision for this? Um, and over the next few slides, you will see a common theme emerge as I talk about how Google Cloud is solving the challenges that data lake challenges bring, the data warehouse challenges bring. And we think about our vision in terms of being open and being flexible. So we have a very open uh, environment. We use open source. We're an extensive promoter of open source. We have open APIs, very flexible in how we support our customers. For example, if customers choose best of breed data lake technologies like Kubels, they can run that on Google Cloud today, take advantage of all that compute and storage and the uh, commercial value that brings, as well as the work we've done with Kubel to integrate into um, our additional services such as BigQuery. So openness is really key. We don't have, you know, walled gardens. There's no data silos, which is a major challenge 
uh, that enterprises deal with. Second thing is intelligence. We have, as I mentioned, our heritage is rich in AI and ML, and we are always looking to enhance and bring more intelligence into our products so that we can deliver um, intelligent smart solutions to customers at the point of making a decision. And lastly, any platform that you run today has to be dependable. It has to be reliable, it has to be scalable, and we have made substantial investments there so that we can deliver on this vision of open, intelligent, and dependable uh, data platform for our customers. These are um, some of the logos on our NASCAR slide of the customers who are using Google's cloud platform today. And you'll see a number of things that are obvious here. It's truly uh, a global uh, platform, and we have customers in every major geography, like Air Asia, um, like uh, New York Times, like the Daily Telegraph, using Google's cloud platform. We have digital natives, and we have traditional bricks and mortar companies. And we have all of these uh, verticals. So all of these companies are digitally transforming with Google Cloud. All of these companies are managing vast data estates in Google Cloud. And they are doing all of that um, with data lake use cases and with data warehouse use cases. And they are managing all of that on one platform. So when we have this platform and we're implying this openness and this intelligence and this dependability, we think about sort of what are the solutions that we can bring to our customers who are struggling in this uh, you know, massive amount of data growth. Um, and also, I would say the amount of compression that customers are seeing in the timelines to digitally transform. Um, we've all struggled over the last six months since the pandemic uh, began with both being at home with our families, employees at home, customers at home, and everybody trying to deal with this new uh, paradigm of uh, more and more online. And the CEO of one of our major SI partners recently told us that they are seeing uh, digital transformation timelines go from five years to 12 months. So how do we deliver really smart analytic solutions with that backdrop? Um, and we think about modernizing a data analytics platform as a really key part. I'll talk a little bit about that and that is a data warehouse use case. On the same platform, we deliver data lake capabilities to our customers. And we also, again, on the same platform, have a complete enterprise uh, and data consumption capability. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about these, but you'll see the transition from vision here into executable things we're doing to deliver value as our customers go through this uh, data cloud uh, transformation. BigQuery is Google's uh, data warehouse platform, and we have customers today who are using this at massive scale to solve real-world data warehouse challenges and real-world data warehouse use cases. They, we have some customers who have simply terabytes of data in BigQuery, and we have some customers who have hundreds of petabytes in BigQuery. Uh, that's in a highly performant serverless environment, so there's no management. We take care of all of that to eliminate the complexity and the other piece you'll see here, back to the vision, is in here we've built in machine learning capability. So we have brought intelligence uh, from our, our knowledge and our DNA into BigQuery to make this product even smarter uh, and more efficient and more effective for customers who are using it. So that's a good example of where we take the vision and make it actionable in our solutions. We carry that vision and through the execution in a number of different themes under our data warehouse capability. Um, you can see these four uh, major themes here of always fast, always fresh, democratizing machine learning to get it down to the hands of the business users, the ability to very quickly democratize insights. We've got to get data to the point of decision. And then we also are trying to ensure that we always continue to maintain openness by bringing that open access to customers regardless of where they have their data. So in this slide, I'll just talk a little bit about one topic here. It's a very busy slide, and I'm sure Kubel will share these. But in this slide, we talk a little bit about materialized views. This is where we understand that our customers want to use more and more near real-time data and streaming data along with the batch data that they have. By enabling a materialized view capability within BigQuery, we allow customers to consistently refresh the data with streaming data, but then we gave it the ability to periodically cache those queries 
so the views never uh, the queries never have to be changed and customers just get updated analytics based on the latest data they bring into BigQuery. So that's a good example of where we execute on a data lake capability or a data need capability on streaming, and we enable our product to be intelligent to deliver value to the customer. That's a good example of how we're doing that to solve some of the customer challenges that they have with this ever-evolving data environment. This one has probably been one of the biggest game changers um, in our data warehouse product. Um, this is the delivery of ML. I mentioned it in a previous slide, but by simply adding the ability for BigQuery users to add a couple of lines of code to put machine learning in there, we've now unlocked machine learning for literally millions of our data analysts who use this product every day. And only Google Cloud could do this because of our capabilities around machine learning. And then we brought that intelligence back to the vision and the strategy to the product, but to deliver a better business outcome for our customer. And you, we will continue to expand this. We're going to continue to expand the capabilities and the models that we're bringing. We're working with our customers, taking input on what they want us to see. To see. So now that we've brought intelligence to the product with this capability, we will continue to extend that to give them more dependability and more capability around using ML within their data warehouse environment on BigQuery. The other thing that we've done is to start introducing natural language processing into the data warehouse engine into BigQuery. Um, we have an internal product called Analyza, which uh, has essentially got the ability to take a question in the language, interpret that question, identify the intent of the question, convert that to SQL, and execute the query. So now you've given the ability to democratize data by scaling out at a substantial rate by using NLP, people's ability to use the platform for processing more and more and more queries in as near to real time as physically possible to get answers where they need to make decisions that affect their business. So this is another really good example of us using you know, internal products that we own and use for internal purposes to make products our customers are using as they look to solve their data challenges. And the last one um, is a recent announcement we made around openness and uh, understanding as the entire landscape changes, customers have got multi-cloud environment. We know that we were one of the first of the hyperscalers to identify this. And we want to be sure that our customers can use our products even if data resides on another cloud. And we released uh, BigQuery Omni which essentially allows BigQuery customers on Google Cloud to go and query data that resides on either Amazon or Azure. It essentially treats the other two hyperscalers as just another region. You run your query through BigQuery, and it goes to S3 or Azure Storage and brings the query back. Also very cost effective because you don't incur any egress. But it's a great example of our openness. It's delivered by our Anthos platform, which we released la last year. So continuing to drive that openness, the customers don't have to worry about silos and they can continue to use the investments they've made in other hyperscalers while taking advantage of all of our tools. So that's a rather key innovation for us um, and a great example of us sort of helping customers manage through this evolving landscape of data warehouses and data lakes. So perfect segue, data lakes. Data Lake is another area where we help our customers to manage data lakes at a significant scale with our cloud data proc platform. We basically provide our customers with the ability to manage the open source data lake capabilities that they have at a significant scale and provide a managed, fast, secure, and cost-effective experience of the open source capability that they're using. We have huge customers like Twitter, and Pandora, who have uh, substantial amounts of data in our data proc platform, uh, using it for this data lake use case. And we see this continuing where they also have, um, using our data warehouse capability alongside the data proc uh, product so that they're using both use cases simultaneously. And we see that happening and we'll see that evolving uh, more and more. So just like I spoke earlier in our data warehouse uh, roadmap about where we're taking BigQuery what are we doing that's consistent with our vision um, and delivering on those solutions I talked about uh, to, give our, to give this intelligence and dependability to our customers? And I'll talk about some of the things we're doing with our enterprise notebooks 
as customers start to use those more and more and also make more and more management, uh, more management of the open source uh, tools that they're using um, a lot easier so they can free up data engineering time for more productive uh, activities. One of the capabilities we've done is how we are enabling uh, data scientists to be more effective and what we can do for them to make their lives easier so that there are more time in front of the notebooks um, looking at the data and the outcomes uh, and making decisions and passing on knowledge to the business users they support to make decisions is that we are bringing all of the big data services that exist in the open source, like the ones you see on the slide here, and we are bringing all of those at scale to be delivered on Dataproc through our notebooks capability to eliminate that burden and complexity and complexity for the data science teams. We've integrated all the tools. We've put um, management capability in place to allow ease of administration, to allow ease of use, so that that whole experience that the data scientist gets is just smarter. It's more intelligent and it's more scalable. And that, again, is consistent with how we think about solving customer problems um, in this very complex and evolving landscape. So there are two good examples of, of how we're doing that. And the last two I'll mention briefly are um, around our open store, open source capability. Um, we have released recently a meta store uh, within a management store within Dataproc. And essentially what we've done here is, again, just made life easier for the data scientists and made the use of data lake use cases easier by providing this fully managed auto scale, auto healing meta store so our customers don't have to worry about the complexity of management of the open source and can focus more on the needs of the business. <clears throat> and again, that's an, that's an application of us using um, our knowledge internally and our knowledge of open source to continue to deliver, deliver better open source capability for our customers. The last thing I'll mention here around our data lake solution is we are iterating it again um, by bringing it uh, to you on Kubernetes. As you all know, uh, Kubernetes was developed at Google and we open sourced it. Well, now as part of our drive to continue to deliver open and flexible solutions, we are enabling Cloud Data Proc, our data lake solution, to run on Kubernetes. Uh, very, very uh, elegant and simple solution where our customers can worry about the data lake capabilities at the business end, and we will simply manage all the resources and the complexity of managing the open source componentry that lies underneath there. So that's something that we just released in beta, and we will continue to do that. Lastly, I'll talk about um, the front end and how customers experience our data platform and all of those tools I just mentioned that are in our data lake capability and data warehouse capability. You all, I'm sure, know that Looker joined the Google family uh, this year. And essentially, Looker is a uh, semantic modeling layer. It is, uh, solves a major customer pain point. It's API-based. What's really cool about it is that you can actually embed it inside your applications as well, using it as a best-in-class business intelligence and analytics platform. And they've built over 55 integrations now. So regardless of your on-prem um, SQL data warehouses or you're using BigQuery on Google Cloud, they have the ability to deliver a multi-cloud semantic layer for you for you know, uh, business analytics and business intelligence use cases. Where we're taking that, if back, if you think about our vision and our solutions that we're delivering on our smart analytics platform, so what are we doing? I've got three examples here of how we're integrating it even more tightly with Google Cloud's uh, BigQuery product. Uh, we're going to tightly integrate it into GCP itself. And we're also giving customers the ability to instantly explore out of BigQuery. So you can now deploy Google, uh, sorry, Looker from uh, your GCP console. So just like you get other uh, Google products from our data portfolio, you will now also be able to self-serve Looker um, from the GCP console. So that is, again, making it easy and dependable and scalable for our customers to deploy Looker uh, into their data lake and data warehouse solutions. We're also enabling the deployment of Looker with the BI engine. Um, a very seamless integration there eliminates the need for OLAP uh, and traditional cubes, which typically slow down um, queries, and to give that faster, more intelligent uh, BI and BA capability 
on top of BigQuery leveraging BI Engine. And lastly, this one I think is pretty cool. We enable the ability for the BigQuery user to automatically go from BigQuery uh, into um, the Looker experience uh, straight from the SQL query. So that is something that we're truly giving one-click visualizations from our customers who have got both Looker and BigQuery. So that's, again, taking intelligence that we have in our uh, products, in our platform, and delivering those to the customer. So I talked about our vision, and I sort of put uh, that slide back here. As our customers are going through this tremendous change, compressed timelines for transformation, struggling with massive amounts of data, do I need a data lake? Do I need a web data warehouse? You actually need both. You need it running in an open and flexible environment where open source is used heavily but managed and the complexity removed for you. You need your solutions to be intelligent where they're enriched and enhanced with AI and ML and where they're always uh, proven to be dependable, reliable, and scalable. So that as your business grows, you know that the platforms where you have your data warehouse and data lake solutions are, are, um, are running safe and secure. That's sort of, again, if you think about everything I've said, that brings the vision back to what our platform actually delivers. And when you come to the Google Cloud Smart Analytics platform, you can see here our data lake solution, our data warehouse solution, our visualization solutions, and we deliver all of this in a seamless experience uh, on Google Cloud. Just want to say thank you uh, for listening. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, Again, thank you to Cubel for allowing me to speak here and for um, accepting Google Cloud as a sponsor. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit.